With the goal of reducing CO2 emissions, the F-gas regulation considerably impacts chemical manufacturers and the HVAC industry. Train engineers concluded that the most sustainable and future-proof low GWP alternatives to transition away from the higher GWP refrigerant R410A were R454B and R32, and then excluded R32. Let's see why. Most criteria are equal or nearly equal, such as performance, toxicity, flammability, and servicing. Studies prove that the glide of R454B is insignificant and that no mechanical compensation is required to ensure that the unit runs with the performance it was originally designed for. So what is the real base of comparison? It resides in three facts, direct GWP, operating maps, and long-term compressor reliability. Right now, the globally accepted direct GWP threshold by HVAC system designers and building consultants is 750. R32's direct GWP exceeds this threshold and is 45% higher than R454B's, making R454B the more sustainable choice. With regard to operating maps, because R32 generates a compressor discharge temperature that is higher than R454B, the R32 operating map is limited and reduces application flexibility. A unit with R454B outperforms a unit with R32 with its extended cooling and heating capabilities, particularly when the need is to deliver higher leaving hot water temperatures at lower ambient air temperatures. We also see improved seasonal efficiency for units running with R454B. And finally, these wider operating maps make it easier to replace a gas boiler, eliminating the problematic dependency on fossil fuels. Looking at reliability, because higher compressor discharge temperature means higher refrigerant pressure inside the compressors, this all translates into unnecessary stress and accelerated wear on the compressor, shorter compressor lifetime, and ultimately, less reliability. So after considering all these criteria, R454B is the best balanced choice to replace R410A for all your building projects where a scroll chiller, heat pump, or rooftop unit is needed.